And Carson show, right? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. Did Dick promote the biggest problem on PKA? I don't remember. I think I did. I promoted us on drug and peasants, but that's not as big. Oh, you know what I said? Uh, I said on PKA, uh, I called them all out. I said, yeah, you guys are really super selective about who you bring on because you won't even bring Vito Giswaldi on because you guys think he's a pedophile. <laughs> that's not why. Is that why? <laughs> you didn't say that. I don't care. I just make stuff up. <laughs> None of it was re- related to reality at all. Did that's the best anything? part. Did they say anything about me? They said, we want to get him on. We just, No, we, we do want to get him on. We want to get him on. No, no, no. It's good. It's good that they've waited to get me on because then my Kickstarter will be live. But your Twitter won't be. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me, don't like, yeah, all right. <gasps> Fuck, I didn't queue up the thing I needed. Oh, no. Yeah, well, you'll all you find that. Hold on. I know. Yeah, what, do you have to say something? My Twitter's been banned. Still not cute. Oh no! Hold on. Da, Hold on. Da, 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 da. Uh, S drop. <laughs> oh no! This thing's fucked too. Drop. Is the whole thing broke. <laughs> Why do you keep changing the folder path? I don't know, man. Why does anyone do anything? Vito's oh! Twitter. Vito's <laughs> Twitter. Oh no! Vito being Vito oh, on Twitter. Of that song. <laughs> Can't do this bit anymore. Vito's Twitter. Ah! Vito's Twitter. Vito's Vito Twitter. being Vito oh, on Twitter. Oh, oh, oh. It's all over for Vito me. Vito on folks. Twitter. <laughs> Vito on Twitter. Vito being Say Vito on Twitter. Say goodbye to this song. Say goodbye to this bit. Say goodbye to all Vito of it. It's on all Twitter. Over. <laughs> Vito they on got Twitter. Me again. I got God. Vito being Vito they on Twitter. They got me. What do you mean? The lollycons got me, Vito. Nick. They baited me. Oh, they did? They're so good at it. What did they do? Uh, they called me a pedophile for an hour until I called them a pedophile, and then I was the one who got banned. So, <laughs> isn't that ironic? Don't that you, you think? of all people? Yeah, <laughs> isn't it ironic? Don't you call think? the pedophile when everyone oh. thinks you're a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> they called me a pedophile on the internet, and now I'm banned from a Twitter account. How angry were you when you posted this? I thought it would just kind of get their goat, you know? I know these lolly types. It's funny, everybody- But they're pedophiles. Why would it get their All of them goat? coming at me, are, uh, literally all their fucking usernames are like based lolly enjoyer, or like I <laughs> fuck lollies. <laughs> yeah, and that's like, cool. Yeah, real cool. Cool guys. It's cool, though. And uh, I told them to go fuck- you I can mean, say it on here. I, uh, yeah, well, it's not I Twitter. Said, There's no child, machine learning but, uh, for voices yet. So, and then they all reported me because they said I was encouraging <laughs> them to abuse children. Why do you have? No one needs encouragement to abuse. You. No one in history has ever needed. Look, uh, CEO. Why does it have Molly seven thousand views? I have no idea how. All that right, works. let's. Uh, let's they all see this endlessly. Let's see this uh, CEO of Lolly. CEO Lolly slang. Oh, they're all celebrating that they they the Lollies won. Oh no, oh, they hey! got. Hey! Hey! All right. You know what? What do they call that? A pyrrhic victory or whatever? Where we both burn they call both? a pedo pyrrhic yeah, victory. A pyrrhic victory. All right. <laughs> We both went down. So they sure. got the CEO of Lolly Slaying. Yeah, I guess but they it, took them down. Wow. I mean, I've sent I've sent a thing to Twitter and I said, listen, a bunch of... What are you guys, pedophiles? Well, I said, first of all, they've banned the term Lolly from the search on Twitter. I don't think they like these Lolly guys. And I'm like... <laughs> well, no one likes them. I'm like, I was arguing with them. <laughs> and first of all, That's I don't... me, maybe. I don't care if you're in the Lolly, really, but when all of you come at me and you go, fuck you, you fucking pedo. And I'm like, you guys are the pedophiles. Oh, oof. So, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Uh, as Dick has lost your out, account, though, uh, I will now no longer be able to promote my comic on Twitter, which or means this camp, show or this show. I can promote it on this show. That's not part no, of no, no, no. Oh, you can't Twitter. promote this show on your Twitter. Well, so now everything is on me. No, I can promote the show on YouTube or whatever else. How often do you do that? 
All the time. A lot How do you of do times. that? When I do you have, do that? I have some videos that in the in the corner there's a little ad that says "Go listen to the biggest problem in the universe." It needs to be bigger. I'm doing. It needs I'm to be doing, bigger, and it needs to be said go, out loud. Every time I go on a show, I say, "Listen to this show." You go on shows, you listen to the Dick Show. It's the <laughs> only show I do, and I don't do any other shows. <laughs> All right. So I, I said it on. I said it on PKA. Yeah, I was yeah. in a big fight with Harley uh, Morgenstein. Yeah, or whatever his last name is. Point is, now my comic book campaign is going to fail, and I'm going to jump off a bridge. Now but you have like a legit okay. excuse for why it failed, yeah, though. That's true. Like I before, go. it was just nobody liked me on Twitter anyway, though. So I, just, oh, I, I think I think it's going to be okay. We go. I think anybody following me on Twitter was probably hate following me. Uh, okay. Anyone who really follows me follows me here or follows me on YouTube. Yeah. So hopefully, it's all going to be okay. I had a Vito's Twitter uh, queued up. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good joke. Come on. This is what you said before, which was nothing gets my knob a cranking like some lolly. That guy, Chris. That's that, from Chris. Yeah, Chris, that woman, the non binary person. Non binary Mr. Beast. And you said he's just like, he just like me for real. <laughs> so you're making fun of black people too. <laughs> and I'm making fun of, uh, there's no jokes on the internet anymore. Well, I, I don't know the punchline of that. The punchline of that is that he um, was joking. Nothing gets my knob a cranking like some lolly. Well, your knob, first of all, typical woman, your knob doesn't a crank. You crank your knob. Nothing gets me cranking my knob. I think it's funny to say nothing gets my knob a crank, and I think that's a funny maybe for twist of women. The it's funny, I don't because know. he's a woman now. Well, or is he non-binary? He's non-binary. He's so, non-binary. So he's still a man. No, he could be anything. Now. He just like me for real. Come on, that's funny. That's a good joke. Uh, anyway, no more good jokes from me on Twitter, unless you maybe find some other account. Why do you that... always have to joke about pedophiles and stuff, though? Not always. What else do you joke about? Lots of stuff. I to- post all the fucking time. Oh. It's just any time I make a pedophile joke, which is like once a month, maybe, at most... Everybody goes, oh, I can't believe. It's like your period that you have. Vito would say that. But look, man, I'm never going to, look, I'm never going to stop making pedophile jokes. They're always well, then you're gonna always going to be banned. That's fine. I don't care. Oh, don't you want to, like, no. promote your comic and no, stuff? No, I, 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 I can't exist in this world anymore. <laughs> I can't. I can't figure out how to do it. I don't belong here. I Where don't do you belong? belong in, like, the Old West. But I was born too late to explore and be a... Uh, gold pioneer and too young to explore the galaxy. Yeah, like something that. like that. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. I think I would be a good like uh, French aristocrat hanging out with all Is the that where, it, it, getting you my head cut off. Are very bad at etiquette. You would not last a second <laughs> in French court. I you think good, not saying pedophile shit is bad in the, in the medieval times. I don't belong anywhere. I never. I never will. <laughs> I am just so sick you of should everything. Be trans, isn't everyone. that what? Why I they do it? I hate all the lying. I hate all the deception. And from then liberals I, from everyone. Oh, and then I call it out, and then people get <laughs> mad at me because they're like, oh, "We're just lying. What's wrong with lying? Can't we just lie?" And I'm like, "No, you can lie too. Stop. You're yeah, lying. You can lie, lie too. Come on, Why man. You also lie." And I'm like. <sighs> What kind of lying are you talking about right now? I think one of your problems is going to dip into it, but all sorts of shit. The whole anti woke woke. I like when you're so depressed that you can't even pretend like you're the show the show business part just like vanishes. From no, you. the show business comes back. It always comes. I back. don't like the. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I like both sides. I'm just saying. Uh, why don't we start the show? Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Kyle too. Big yes. Or Kyle. Problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe. From easy mode hacks to civil rights for the blacks. <laughs> that was by Bunge Bunge Bob. Bunge, Bunge Bob. Hair squants. Bunge Bob. Pear squants. Nice. I'm Dick Masterson, your host. Joining me is always Vito World Gisvaldi. famous Twitter comedian. Why don't you go fuck a kid, pedo? Is that what you said, the guy you banned? Pretty much. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? I had sex with your wife. What if they had said that on Seinfeld? If George said, oh, yeah? Why don't you go fuck a kid, you pedophile? You think that would have been a good ratings for them? I don't know. I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't I don't get the rules. The rules don't make any sense to me. And you're right, I can say it on here. Why can't I say it on Twitter? Because the machine learning, bro, they can't machine learn podcasts yet. They machine learn everything on Twitter and they won't that they give away the Twitter algorithm. That was a fake. They gave away the algorithm, but they didn't give away the, the machine learning weights. So you have no idea what they penalize and and promote. And I got a feeling. Yeah. I just got a weird feeling they crammed it full of. I'll say this. I mean, people can still find the tweet threads. And if any of you want to go through and report all the lolly bastards yeah. who did this to me, get yeah. them all banned. The pedophiles, you mean? Yeah, the pedophiles. Don't mince words. Uh, have fun. Go nuts with that. Because they all work together. A little fucking enclave of anime child fuckers conspired to uh, ruin my day. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Ow, you're totally my fucked. My YouTube uh, You're totally fucked. You have no toilet. promotion. I have other places to promote. Okay. You need a big win. I'm never going to get one. I'm not getting one. Now you need a big win, man, at this point in your career, Every, in your life. It's all downhill from here. You need, this is like life aquatic for you. Steve Zizou, you need one big win out of this. I'm going to have to sell everything I own and move to the woods. It and would take I, you the rest of your life to sell all those computers and I'll fucking toys and stuff. I'll sell it a lot or whatever. I'll sell it all at once. I'm going to sell everything I own. I'm going to move to the woods. I'm going to live in a trailer. And uh, no one will ever hear from me again. <laughs> And when I die, my cats will eat my corpse. <laughs> you bringing your cats to the woods? Well, where else am I going to bring them? Well, they're not going to last long out there. They're right? not going to live in the woods. We're going to live in a trailer, an RV is what I've explained. And you're not going to let them outside? I'll let them, like, walk around a little bit. That's it. All right. oh, owls, Coates, bobcats. Coyotes. Coyotes, yeah. Look, I get that there's dangers out there. Then fine, they're not allowed to leave the trailer. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I've seen I've seen my future dick. It's not good. Yeah, your five out of five Mickeys you said on the bonus episode of Depressed. <laughs> is Mickey uh uh what is a Mickey? Well, you could rank things out of five Mickeys. <laughs> Why? Why do you rank them this way? Because you could have well, you know, Mickey Mouse. Right. You could have one Mickey. That's that's poor. Two Mickeys is Why good. Why did you choose Mickey Mouse as the standard of measurement? Well, what do you want it to be? Little, Stars? like, raped st lolly things? <laughs> <laughs> you want it to be five lolly raped things? I'm actually going to have to figure out this AI technology and just uh, generate porn. I'm going to have to catfish people. <laughs> I'm going to virtually catfish <laughs> men to make money. Like Andrew Tate did? Yeah. I think I'd be good at it. No one talks about how he pretended to be the cam whore is that he was keeping prisoner in his house. To defraud yeah, men out of based. money. I'm gonna do that. That's based, that's right? Based. That's Islamic. <laughs> he's taking pictures with talking his nose. to guys and being like, "I want to see your big dick." That's cool. Yeah, he was doing that. He was for money. What a badass! No one even mentions it. <laughs> kind of drives me nuts. How does? How? He's probably talking to underage guys too. Maybe he was. This is like a nightmare society we live in, where it's like, how do you make money? And it's like, oh, I go online and I trick men into thinking I want to suck their dick. And that I play chess. Yeah. <laughs> or I make a, a podcast on the internet and I hope to God. Podcast is good, though. I hope to God the audience doesn't discover <laughs> that uh, none of this matters. <laughs> they, they know none of it matters. I don't know what's going on. They're try they need us to keep them alive for a week. That's what I've learned of eight years of doing the dick show. It's how literally. Much longer, how much longer? What? It's just this, all this, this human experience. I could do it forever. Yeah. I could be the last one. I, think oh, I bet you didn't see that one. You're going to cut to me in a brown paper bag as I slowly pull out the Bud Dwyer revolver and go, hey, no, 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 you got some, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And then, <laughs> episode 100. Uh, 108. That'll Philly be episode live show is going to be next weekend. Shawnees are coming out on 420. More Shawnees. I know you're That's excited good. about that. Everyone be nice to me at the live show. I don't need another dick show where a guy comes up to me and goes, you know, you ruined the dick show. <laughs> why am I even fucking here? Why Why do I do any of this? Um, Thankfully, the people who listen to this show, they must like something about what I'm doing. How are the Carl? Do the Carl fans like you? I don't After know. After you flaked on them? Did you go back no, on? I think, well, unfortunately for WATP, like, um... I think the first time I went on, I thought it was good. Okay. Second time was like a little weird. We just couldn't, that format is hard. 
for you? Well, it's hard if you don't find a good podcast to rip on. Because I picked a yeah. podcast, like, I was like, oh, this would be a fun podcast. And then I went through it. I'm like, shit, I can't find any like, yeah, good it's clips. Tough. Yeah, it was Carl tough. always can, though. Yeah, Carl saves it. Yeah. Actually, the second time it went on was good. We did some guy that he had found, and that was Oh, fun. okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Are you ready for... Yes. The winner? Yes. Easy mode in video games is the winner. That's uh, you. And then the Civil Rights Act was number two. Right, because all my problems are dog shit. I contribute nothing of value. <laughs> Nazis are too cool. That's a good problem. <laughs> and it's very true. See, yeah, but it qu- requires you to be, like, anti-Semitic if you're voting for it. doesn't it. require you to be anti-Semitic. You can say Nazis are cool. I didn't say the Jew killing was cool. See, now it's <laughs> conflicting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, what, what do you got? Seatbelt laws was last. Yeah. Um, People thought that I was bringing that problem in to try and appeal to the libertarians in the audience. Mm-hmm. Guys, I just genuinely think they thought that. Somebody thought they're like Vito thought he could get he like understood Dick's audience of like, but he doesn't understand that we fucking love seat belts. Like we love freedom, but we also love seat belts. And I, I don't like, love seat belts. I'm like, what man, I mean, was, we. I was trying to meta game it, man. I don't think that hard about this shit. I was just like, yeah, seatbelt laws are dumb. I don't want to wear my fucking seatbelt. Other people had another theory of why you brought it in. Maybe we'll find okay. some of those. Uh, Benjamin Swearingen says Dick's punishment for missing it. To be fair. Is is Vito gets to write a tweet on Dick's account and he can't delete it. That'd be pretty good now, that, especially now, now that you don't have, have a Twitter. No other thing, and I'll use it for promoting the comic, which you should retweet anyway. But I can't. Re- I would retweet it, but I can't. <laughs> right. Just, just don't say any pedophile stuff. I won't say. I don't. Don't say. tell anyone to fuck kids, even if it's like funny meta joke. <laughs> Fucking Twitter. <laughs> I uh, if I get that. All right. If I get that Twitter account back. What I should have done is been like, this account has the most followers, so I'm not going to use it. Vito, I don't just know. stop I telling just, people to fuck kids. Stop talking about pedophiles. <laughs> they always get, they get just me. Just stop it. like talking about it. I don't know why you can't do it. I don't know. They always bait me. Who are the kids? Because they go like, you're that fucking pedophile. And I go, you're that fucking pedophile. And they go, I'm not a pedophile. And I'm like. (laughs) You can't say stuff like go shoot up a school. Like you can't say crimes. I never said go shoot up a school, did I? But would you ever? Yeah, I would probably. That sounds like you cannot do that. You can't say. Look, you're being graded by computers. Okay. You're not being graded by real people. You are being you're you're being judged by a computer algorithm. Exactly like Chat GPT. So just think like that. Okay, so I'm fucked. There's no <laughs> Just don't say you don't it. understand the things in my head. I can't not say these things. You're like a black guy that gets shot by the cops. Like, what do you mean? Yes. Of course I walk like this yes. all the time. Like, just yes. fucking stop. Put your hands up and say, Why I don't uh I because I was speeding officer. Like, oh what you got to the ground? Like Sometimes I have that self control, but around and sometimes kids. I look at the cop and I go, "Well, just fucking shoot me then. <laughs> just fucking shoot me then." Okay. All right. I, I I identify with the black guys in those videos. I'm sure. John, can you uh, can you people stop wasting your time trying to get Vito to lose weight? I'm sick of hearing your comments and voicemails of herder. Go to the, go to gym, Vito. Eat healthy, Vito. You're wasting valuable time, which could be used on more hilarious bits. I just ordered some of that uh, semi glutide. Oh, you did? Yeah, you can get it. Apparently, you can get it from Mexico. Yeah, Mexico. Yeah, or, I don't know if it's from Mexico or not, but India. But now I'm all worried because some people are saying like, "Oh no, it just like wastes away your muscles or some shit." You gotta I work know. out. Yeah, I'm gonna do all of it. It's all gonna be great. Just yeah, okay. You gonna take it though? Yeah, I'm gonna inject it right into my fucking it's amazing. eyeballs. You're gonna lose like forty pounds. We'll see. Probably. Well, uh, apparently, it just makes you not want to eat. Yeah, that's weird. Like a normal person. Well, it makes it makes food <coughs> travel slower through your digestive tract. I believe it never comes out. I heard. <laughs> I, I don't want that. It gets closer. <laughs> To your asshole from the inside, and it never, <laughs> you take the pill and but it's it never, like you eat one meal and it spends all day inside you, so you don't feel like you have to eat anymore. So, yeah, um, look, I'll take shortcuts all day, I don't care. Stop drinking that Mountain Dew, too. It's not a Mountain Dew, it's a Sprite. I don't know why I ordered that for you either. I could have said, I could have changed it on the order of Diet Sprite. Do they have Diet Sprite? <laughs> I'm not drinking a lot of it, I'm drinking a little bit. Look, I need like water. I need 
That's I don't want water. Need. I need like a little sugar to help pick me up from the fact from that the my Twitter. life has been destroyed and I've lost <laughs> my By man. you, by your Not decisions. Not by me. By fucking lolly degenerate assholes who think it's based to want to rape a bunch of anime kids, okay? And the irony is... That I don't even care that they do that, but they're turning it around on me. <laughs> Um, Lambertar says I was going to buy Vito's comic But then he started trying to manipulate me By saying he's going to kill himself if I don't I'm not trying to manipulate you I am telling you the actual situation I'm a man at the edge of the fucking cliff Are you going to do falling down like Michael Douglas? If I, you know I, I, I don't know I Maybe I did download that movie in the last week or so Yeah and I just, You go to Burger King yeah, I got that tiny little burger. You guys have any more of those Pokemon toys <laughs> and the kids' meals? How come I you go to McDonald's? any in the back? Why does McDonald's not have Mario toys right now? There's a Mario movie going on. I ran out of license. I want some Mario toys. Uh, Look, I'm not trying to manipulate They have a bunch you. of gay guys okay. running the marketing. I'll That's say they this. On Pokemon. I'm not going to kill myself, probably. <clears throat> but it is one of those things where I'm like, I don't know what to do anymore. YouTube's fucked. Nobody watches YouTube videos unless I lie to them. If I made a video, you know, we're going to talk all about that later. But all people want is to be lied to, and I don't do that, so I, I can't get any <laughs> oh, okay. views. Okay. You've been a lib lifelong liberal. You never never lie. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. Trump is a racist. The only I just <laughs> want to talk about movies, but if I make a, like a video that's like, hey, movie, a, a cool movie's coming out, no one clicks it. But if I make What's a, a cool movie that's coming out? Like, I heard, uh, what do you call it? I mean, like, I'm excited. I still haven't gotten to see it. The fucking Dungeons and Dragons movie is doing really well. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, they just announced some cool stuff. I okay. forget. Sounds like an exciting video, catalog of movies that are coming out. If I made a video that says out. Wolk Hollywood is going to make your kid gay and this <laughs> Star Wars is going to rape your mom, then everybody would click on it, and I just can't bring myself to do it, so I don't know what to do. And then people go, why don't you make comedy videos again? I'm like, oh, you mean like all the comedy <laughs> yeah, videos like that I that script I sent you. That are demonetized and that I can't make any money off of, and that video yeah. will probably get demonetized because it'll actually be funny. Well, Elon Musk's rolling out like a video platform. You oh... <laughs> Every cool video I made, like like the bathwater thing with Belle Delphine, demonetized. Yeah, the Pepsi Berkeley thing, demonetized. Well, you're talking about drinking a whore's bathwater. Yeah, it's funny. Who do you, who do you want to advertise on that? I don't know. Man. <laughs> All I know is that if this comic fails, I'm out of options in terms of. So, how much do you want it to hit? I know you said if it gets below a thousand, you'll kill yourself. But what's like a a good amount of sales? If it hit like forty, fifty thousand, I would be very happy. I mean, all these other grifters managed to hit like you're gonna need some kind of a scam. Yeah. Okay. It probably won't. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, they it, only get, but they, they get to like 80,000. They only have like, they have like less than a thousand backers. The oh, they do. The, the numbers are weird. Yeah. Like 800 oh, okay. people will get them there. So you want a thousand backers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not a thousand dollars. Oh, I thought it was a thousand. No, no. I thought it was a thousand copies. Okay. So you're saying. copies. So you want a thousand backers, so which is like 25, is 25 grand. bucks, okay. but then like I'm hoping people will want to buy like some of the other stuff that get was yourself available. a little plushy or something. I have all that stuff, yeah. Okay. All that stuff's there. Pin. Get yourself a pin, right? There's pins, there's there's okay. all sorts of things. Um, it's, uh, Honestly, it's going to fail and I'm going to I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm freaking out. It's going to be like the ultimate like definition of my failure is that just like I couldn't even do this. It's a pretty big thing, though. I've put so much like effort into it and yeah. I'm just like terrified. How, you, what if you apologize to Eric July? It doesn't matter. Fido. What am I going to apologize to him for? I really think being it, white. I think it's great that you, you being know, a liberal. hate gay people and <laughs> furries and whatever, all the shit you rant about. <laughs> I think it's really cool and based that you're on here every day talking about how the liberals want to mutilate our kids. Like, I get it. Yeah. That's so cool. You Why don't you talk to Hassan Piker? Put him in it. I just, I don't know. I have no... Come on, you gotta I go one way or the other. I can't go. That's the problem. I don't... Both sides hate me. No. Yeah. 
Uh, I think both sides kind of like you. I think but I think that's true. I Hassan think... wouldn't be threatened by you though. Like he's threatened by Sam Hyde. Yeah. If you kind of got in there, I'm gonna end up like uh, I don't know. I'm gonna I don't know. I don't know where I'm gonna end up. In You're a not van gonna down. see me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna be gone. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear, and I'm just gonna be that guy alone in a van, going, "What could have been?" And that's it. Yeah. And that's it for me. <laughs> It's like, oh, I screwed it up. I should have just played the game. I should have just lied to people's faces. I should have just grifted harder. I should have said, yeah, I fucking hate those fucking liberals and all those trans pieces of shit and blah, you know, just went along with it and been like way more racist because that's cool and like whatever that else. That is cool. You are racist. You brought in a ton of black problems. Yeah, but I'm racist in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> that's Italian of you. Uh... It's all fun. Have you ever heard of like a charm offensive? I'm not charming. I'm not likable. I'm a bad person. I am a I am a I am a unlikable. No, that's not true. Oh. My girlfriend loves you. And then she's <laughs> like, I see why everyone hates him because I go online, but and that's not what he's show. like. I'm more fun on this show, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm fun. With, yeah. I mean, maybe it's good. I, maybe I should just. Here's the thing. I want to get off Twitter because I do come off terribly on Twitter. Yeah. But the fucking uh, technological masterminds have said, <laughs> oh, you don't want to be on Twitter. Well, then right. you literally have no way to connect with other people or tell them what you're doing. They just right. will not see you. No right. one's going to go to your personal website. No one's going to fucking email you to find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're locked in to participating. Go on Mastodon now. All these dumb liberals ecosystem. are on that. Like Matt Talaby and, and Taylor, what, what that just lady jerking each other off with like two followers a piece. I don't know. I don't go on Mastodon. There's too much child porn. I should have voted for Trump. <laughs> I should have got a MAGA hat. And I should have been out here just going, like, fucking drain the swamp. Absolutely. I hate the fucking yeah, swamp. Yeah, but I did that. Yeah, and it worked out very well for you. <laughs> <laughs> you going to tell me that you did not reap the benefits of such? No, I don't think so. Bro, you have a podcast that is very popular. <laughs> They have a fan base that doesn't hate your guts and want you to kill yourself. So, okay, I'm gonna be boogie. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be boogie. It's happening. You're seeing it in real he has time. Blood cancer, though. I probably have. You blood could be cancer. the new boogie. Maybe you I could have a better I blood cancer. Blood boogie for a blood transfusion. I want blood cancer. Maybe <laughs> that'll be, be a fun. bug chaser. I'm gonna be a bug chaser <laughs> for boogie. Why don't you do a podcast with boogie? Uh, he just started one because I was because I'm trying to get the comic finished. I told him after I finished the comic, I would maybe have time we could do a thing. Oh, he's doing his like some wellness podcast. I don't know wellness. Yeah, about. Well, I mean, I told you I'm he's gonna like, do a podcast about sobriety. Did I tell you, he did like a bunch women of acid, with respect, and he's decided his life is better now. He's got like a a, a shaman like plying into <laughs> drugs. <laughs> And he sent me like a bunch of texts. Is it Frank Hassel? I don't know who it he is. He has a shaman? Which is, you know what? If he's happy, it's great. But he's like, you no, know. No, it's not. <laughs> Being happy is the last, the worst reason to do he's anything. Con he's, he's telling me I got to take more acid. And then I'm like, We could take maybe. acid right now. I, maybe, is that what you, you maybe, think that'll help you if you're alive? That might make it worse. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably, probably not a good idea right now. You can't use your phone, though, when you're high on no, acid because his buttons are dancing either. around, wiggling around. I'm going to end up like Boogie, and they're going to make those videos where they go, what happened to that guy? Justin Wang's going to make a video on you? I'm gonna you be should Maddox. be so lucky. I'm going to be Maddox. No. There's nothing I can do. I can't stop this from happening. <laughs> I'm just, I like, everything I do turns to shit, and it's all my fault. <laughs> I should have just, I should have just bought the MAGA hat and just had fun with it. You think you could have been a, a I Trump think I supporter? I would have been a great Trump guy. I think yeah? I, yeah I think what's, I your favorite, what's your three favorite parts about, what's your favorite part about Trump? Uh, what do you call it? All, the, that thing with the, the, where he told all the Mexicans are rapists? See, that's not, we don't <laughs> accept that. But he didn't really the, say it. That He was unfairly maligned yeah, by the media. you already said. He said. He said, some of them, I think, are good people. And that's great. That means he likes some of them, you know? Mexicans like some Mexicans. What else did Trump do that was fun? It's a trick question. It's <laughs> impossible it, to pick the best part about him. Could be his love of Christ. 
him Kid ripping on marriage. Jeb Bush was like probably the highlights for me. Low energy Jeb Bush, right? Yeah, that? that was really good. Okay, um, You're Arkham. Watching, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> what a show. Arkham patient says Vito's refusal to wear a seatbelt is crazy, considering he would go into a blubbering fit every time someone so much as questioned the official narrative about COVID. No, don't get vaccinated, guys. That's not what Trump would want. He would want that. Well, he would want that. That's true. Yeah. Teach me to be based. Uh, maybe then I can redeem myself. <laughs> Vaccines are gay. And they make your kids gay, which is the worst thing that could ever happen to anyone. Your kids being gay, right? <laughs> 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 they all say like, "Oh yeah, I love yeah, I love love, I love and respect gay, gay yeah, people." But also, the worst thing that would ever happen to me is if my kids kid were gay. gay. Yeah, that would it's be like, the well, worst. Well, it's gonna happen thing. to one of you. Like you yeah. know that, right? Like look to your left and right. Someone's I mean, if you have daughters, uh, all of them are gonna be gay. But if you have sons, well, fucking a lot of them are gonna be gay. I just wish these degenerates would leave our kids alone. <laughs> all these satanists. You mean your kids? Yeah, they're your, the gay yeah. ones. They're already gay, man. What do you? <laughs> you know which ones they are? I think the liberals are in league with <laughs> Satan to make our kids gay. Uh, guy says Final Fantasy VII has to be the greatest storyline ever. I don't know why he said that. <laughs> I do like Final Fantasy VII, though. It's okay. It came out so of nowhere, weird. though. Was that yeah. in the response to last episode? Yeah. Uh, take take the Snake Roberts says, My 10-year-old nephew told me he's beating all the Mario games. He said he beat the first three Marios already. Turns out on the Switch, old Mario games have infinite rewind do-overs. Yeah. Save states. Yeah, there's a lot of kids Dog these days. With, uh, stolen Valor is what I'm going to call that. Yeah, important Stolen Valor. Yeah. It should, it should, if you beat Mario correctly, it should give you like a certificate to print out with like unique code. Yeah. Because then you'd be like, all right, show me the certificate then. Oh, None of this Billy uh, Mitchell shit. Yeah, they're all cheating. Um, Let's see here. Username 557 says, some new models of GMC and Chevy require you to buckle up just to shift into drive. Eliminating the ability wow. to buckle up while idling out of your parking spot. A bunch of people send me links to the, uh, you just plug it into the seatbelt thing, and then you have a bottle opener instead of a seatbelt. Yeah, those are cool. Thing. I'm going to get one. You're going to get one? I put on my seatbelt this week. I mean, I'll put it on sometimes. <laughs> That's how I know you're depressed. <laughs> uh, Everybody wants me to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to load up the uh, I'm stinging excited. section. Of I the love stinging. Yeah. That's my favorite. Now I'm going to flip my piece of paper to something. Okay. Wait, are these all old? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait a minute. Let me try to let me try to find one. That, I don't know why that didn't download. No, it didn't download. Well, guys, uh, I'll tell no, Wait, wait, stall, stall. I am Vamp, stalling. Vamp, Johnny! Uh, don't forget, we have a new bonus episode, The Biggest Problem 420, we just recorded today. Uh, you can hear me being even more depressed than I am right now. Yeah. That'll be available soon on uh, patreon.com slash biggest problem and backed up by slash biggest problem. I'm hoping on Monday I will be able to launch the Kickstarter or Indiegogo. It will be on Indiegogo for Super Killer. So this yeah. weekend I'll be working on that. Maybe Tuesday, maybe Wednesday, but it's very close. I'm just like figuring a few things out. Mm -hmm. But uh, please <laughs> consider buying my comic book. So I don't so I don't feel like such a loser. <laughs> it would just be nice. I put I like it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be good. I know I can <laughs> Oh, I had it in the folder the whole time. Oh, all right. Sorry, okay, ready? No problem. You gotta intro it though. It's our favorite segment. Yeah. Load it up. Stinger already. I guess you heard to vote it up. Ooh, Cause uh, if you don't, then you're a cuck. Go, go. I came back to let you know. Gotta vote it up. Biggest problem not show. <laughs> My friends wonder what is wrong. If you don't vote it up, I'll kill your family. <laughs> Perfect. I came back to let you know. Gotta vote it up. Biggest we problem that show. show. Oh, oh, oh. Vote it up. Vote it Gotta up. Reverend Scott, 
sent that in. Thank, Thank you, you, Reverend Scott. Scott. He has Twitter. It's awesome. <sighs> well, maybe I'll get one in one of these days. Uh, guys, it's voted up the segment where we revisit past problems. Normally, I'd bring in a number of past problems, but I feel like we really got to get back into one in particular. And that is, of course, the ongoing boycott of the week. <laughs> oh, wow. Which I need to create an, another stinger for. I feel like we need to yeah. talk about that. Guys, boycott of the week stinger, please. As we discussed, I believe, last week, the Bud Light boycott, due to their controversial ad campaign with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney yeah. continues strong. Now we have seen every right-wing commentator from across the landscape weighing in, and they all seem to be united in demanding Anheuser-Busch apologize for daring to have a March Madness promotional Instagram post. <laughs> On Dylan Mulvaney's Instagram account. This is something for the ladies. Yeah. I you mean, <laughs> hey, let's. Some guy was like, I, you know, <laughs> Vito, you don't understand. They keep cramming this stuff down our throats. I'm like, oh, really? Did you, were you forced were you to go following to Dylan, Dylan Mulvaney's, Mulvaney's Instagram, Instagram account? Or did you only see it because guys like Tim Pool and Matt Walsh <laughs> are tweeting it every fucking day of your life? Every day, yeah. They're the ones cramming, cramming it, it down, down your, your throat. throat. It's Dylan Mulvaney's <laughs> Instagram. You don't have to go there. You hey, look at this can they sent me of a drawing of me on it. Ah! Why are they cramming this down my throat? 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 Oh, oh my God. <laughs> We're choking on it. Uh, it really is. Insane. I honestly hope all their kids are gay. Uh, I, would, I hope point, Matt Walsh's kids go gay. Whatever it takes what to would make he do them. If that happened, I don't even know. He would freak out. Matt Walsh is constantly talking about I homeschool my I mean, kids. It's just a number go game. on the internet. Blah blah blah. And I'm like, man, there were gay kids before the internet, man. Like one of your kids, might like just guys end up can gay. like get each other off. Like it's not <laughs> like a it's not like a magical spell. We don't know. They Dylan just Mulvaney don't because they'll get made it. fun of and feel bad. Well, today, Dick Anheuser Busch did issue what some are calling an apology. Yeah, it doesn't really not. read like an apology. Oh, do you have it? I have it here. Okay. Why don't I read it for you? Now, this is from Brendan. Kind of a big league apology. It is kind of big leaguing. It should be. I mean, it's kind of telling them, listen, man, we make beer. But it is from Brendan Whitworth, the CEO of Anheuser-Busch, who says, as the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I am responsible for ensuring every consumer feels proud of the beer we brew. I'm honored to be part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, a proud history of supporting our communities, military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We're in the business of bringing people together over a beer. My time serving this country, bringing in the military aspect, smart, taught me the importance of accountability and the values book. upon sorry, which sorry, sorry. America was founded. Yeah. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO, I am focused on not building. women, though. And no, of course not. And protecting our remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, our brands, and our partners. I am listening to and learning from our customers. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation so not really an apology it's really kind of a it's really kind of a bullet pointed list of are why you guys serious yeah <laughs> well there's a lot of who's the trans in this uh <clears throat> i died no that's what he's saying <laughs> yeah. who takes dicks up their ass i was i'm a veteran what I'm are you veteran. guys doing we help first responders we help uh you know uh, again he says we Man, have here's well my uh, yeah go ahead sorry sorry i mean sorry. like sixty five thousand people that are going to be impacted by this boycott all because you hate one trans lady is that like super duper fair i i mean if you really feel that strongly about it i don't know if but, you really feel like that strongly about it, you should kill yourself. Yeah, you are a you are a retarded piece of shit. <laughs> I can because I say it in creative ways because sure. I know machines are watching what I say sure. and I know how to trick machines. You're good at tricking the machines. Uh, I don't think again. This wasn't even like it's not like it was an ad campaign. It wasn't like it was a can well, was with a, a drawing on it. <laughs> 
it was a one time Instagram post. A gigantic queer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Bud Light has had queer, like, they had a beer can that had the Glad logo on it, and they donated money to Glad. That seems like if you're opposed to, like, uh, LGBTQ or whatever, you should have been way more mad about that than they're just really, you know what it is? They're, they're mad really, that they're not on the can. The, they're uh, they're the, mad. I, I guess. They're mad that they're not on the can of a beer that they don't like. That they don't. That they shouldn't admit they to drinking to begin with. They spent all week saying how it's piss, which it's not. I I mean, first of all, none of these losers parties or has partied as hard as I have. Mm. I fucking guarantee that. And you can make fun of that, but I promise you, none of these guys have done coke off of anyone's ass. Yep. Who they don't remember Matt the name Walsh of. Definitely not they have not that. gotten blowjobs in public, in full view of other people. They are, <laughs> oh, I'm sure they are that. uncomfortable <laughs> with nudity yeah. from women, I mean. Yeah. Nobody, no, I have drank more than these guys. I've drank more Bud Light. Yes. Than these guys have drank beer put together. Okay? Yes. Let's So let's start there. I know what the Bud Light consumer wants. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> You've met the Bud Some Light guy consumer. wearing a dress in a bath making fun of Audrey Hepburn and women. Yeah, that's what we want. I was going to say, up. like, yeah, when did Bud Light become, like, the ultimate heartland beer? I'm like, it's just... They made... When Bud Light came out, the Bud guys were like, this is... What is this, gay beer? It was kind of like and beer like for 1982, women. It was like, <laughs> what is this? You're making Bud Light? What does that mean? It's like, well, no, it's for young people because they're not, like, uh, they don't. They want to be like, big, fat losers. They don't define themselves, like, by having been close to World War II. So <laughs> fucking relax, okay? Close We're doing to. it. Like, they, it wasn't like Bud Light didn't come out. It was like, oh, yeah, you guys like regular Budweiser? Here's a light beer. <laughs> Here it is. With less, you guys like that, less right? calories for you. Um, uh, it is very bizarre what is going on. Again, it's, it's just people who don't drink beer pretending that they drink beer. Okay, but I'm just watching again. This is one of these reasons I don't feel any connection to humanity anymore, because mm. I just see so many people mad at this this trans lady, and I'm like, oh, I like, I think it's stupid too, but I don't care because it's Bud Light. <laughs> I don't care that much. It's Bud Light. <laughs> Like, do, do, why like, do you, why oh, do you, you guys should see what they're, how they're selling light. truly? Yeah. You're going to really hate that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's silly and stupid. And like, I guess if I was a woman, I don't know. Whatever. I'm so confused. I don't even know how to parse it. I just go, okay. Like I can understand being like, well, that's dumb. They're gay. That's how you parse it. Matt Walsh is gay <laughs> and he's afraid of be there being too much gay. I don't understand why this of all the things and then like there's just so much other stuff going I hate to do the what about shit and I'm like it's just so weird to think about like every day it's like 20 people got shot today in a bank 50 people got shot today in a Walmart 20 and then, the bankers <laughs> got shot <laughs> Whatever. not people and then it's like you know the only thing we can really come together on I just fucking hate this trans I hate lady this gay so guy much on this beer can. that's something I can get behind I hate this gay guy on their own beer can <laughs> I'm so upset by that like, well you don't have to so here's you my pro to, my yeah. problem is uh stock uh, what did i say it is stock misunderstanders no 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 at first i wanted to call it stock market svengalis but i th uh, maybe that's better stock market illiteracy yeah because the whole thing this whole boycott is market morons stock market morons yeah that's a good one um, I love alliteration. yeah yeah everyone does stock market morons uh here's uh here's the uh here's the boycott um yeah, the boycott's Results. going strong. As we've been told, uh, the boycott is going incredibly, guys. So this is Matt Walsh. Uh, the Dylan Mulvaney endorsement cost Anheuser-Busch $4 billion so far. Oh, my okay. God, $4 billion. <sighs> That's a mean? lot of money. What do you mean cost them? <laughs> they don't own all the stocks of their own company. That's not how stocks work. <laughs> no, Dick, they lost $4 billion. That's a big number. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. You know, know you're you're working for Jews. I yeah. know that you know how <laughs> stocks work. You know something about the stock. You market. know how the stock market works. You know that Anheuser, like it's people who own the stock, collectively, because of the market, because the price of the stock when you started complaining, yes, has dropped by so much that you times it by the amount of stocks out there. And that's how you arrived at that figure, which is like, it's like the conservative version of global warming. It's like, well, really they lost $4 billion. Like, well, no. 
I mean, that's not. Investors lost $4 billion in unrealized losses. Yeah. So and- they can just not sell the stock and it can go back up. Uh, yeah, and if they bought it like more than a month ago, they're, then they're still up, up anyway. Yeah. And if they bought it more than a year ago, then they're up a lot. Uh, so on the 6-month chart, uh, Anheuser-Busch is up 36%. Okay, so, so losing a per- it's I think and I think this week they're out overall, 8 billion out of 50 billion. Aren't they down now like a qu- uh, half, like half a, percent? a percent? Yeah. Okay. And so that's after you- hours trading, so it's not real cuz the volume isn't there. So if you're up 36% and I say, guys, this boycott has brought us down half a percent, how 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 panicked are you? I mean, not, not at all. Not at all. Like, it's not <laughs> – the idea that they're gauging their dickless boycotts on a stock price, which is, like, not – so, okay, it's so not connected the to some, airline, yeah. airline companies were dragging customers out of planes by their hair – and kicking the shit out of them, and their stock price dropped a point and a half. <laughs> right. You're saying that your nationwide boycott couldn't even do as good as beating the shit out of a passenger. Now I'll say it's not this. how stocks work. Okay, here's also what people need to look, know, though, because here's the problem with doing a problem like this, or even talking about this, is that six months from now, the stock may have actually gone down. Yeah. And then they're going to come back at you and go, See, so they did that with Gillette. They're like, "Well, look at Gillette." I'm like, do you think that Gillette's stupid ad had anything to do with like Harry's getting into Costco, like global, like cost yeah, of dollar cost shave of clubs becoming going huge. up, the, like the actual dollar becoming stronger to compared to foreign currencies, which drove down like foreign sales. Like, yeah, just do you have do you have any fucking idea? <laughs> You're talking about the weather, the two <laughs> forecasts that are never valid. Yeah. Are stocks and weather. <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Because it's so fucking complicated that anything could. Why did something happen? I mean, I don't know. We don't exactly. Anything could have caused anything. Yes. If you're so sure about it, short it. Yeah, you can just short Matt it. Matt right Walsh, now. the quartering, whoever else, Tim Pool. If you're so sure about no. your cons- little conservative book burning, short it. Short the shit out of it. Become a short it a hundred. Th- I put a hundred grand. Into a short. Yeah. It's it's right where it was when you started. So I mean, I know your Leviathan of losers <laughs> is gonna wake up and like not buy beer that they hate. Right. I know this is gonna be just so fucking so that's damaging a big, the to, big part of the question is how many of you guys were actually drinking Bud Light? Like there's some anecdotal stuff of like how much of you were drinking? How many yeah. of you were drinking? None of you. Enough to move the needle? I don't know. But I'll say uh yeah, look. I'll say the reason they're not going to short it is because they know their audience is dumb and they know their audience has the attention span of a fucking hummingbird. And they're like, of a woman. I can't short this thing because there's been so many other shore bets like Nike when they're like, we've got oh, Colin yeah. Kaepernick and he's uh, taking the a NFL. Stand. They were going to. Yeah. yeah, we're going to watch watching the NFL. We're gonna destroy it. And they've seen it every single time. And then they post like a they post like a two second interval of the stock market going boom. Got him. Got him, yeah. We got these bastards. Dude, I got in tra- That's I was when I had a Twitter account, I was like, here's the six month chart. They're up 36%. And people are like, show us the last week, bro. Why don't you show us the last week? I'm like, it's in the 36, it's in the six month chart. Just look at that. Why would tiny you why little would dip. you think it would flip so okay, here I brought some stats in for this. Yes. Because I want to make people feel bad. I want to make the people who talk who post pictures of the stock price feel so bad that they kill themselves. <laughs> That's my goal. Okay. Because they are a drain. Yes. On us. Yes. They are kept alive by various subsidies and technologies. They're too stupid to live. Mm. Uh, here's who owns stocks. First of all, 80% of trades are done by computers. Makes sense. So you think you're convincing a computer that you hate this gay guy? <laughs> <laughs> you think someone's feeding in? You think someone has that quantized on a billion if dollar fucking auto trading machine? reaches this level. Oh, shit. So well, there it goes. Yeah. Shorting the shit out of this Budweiser stock is my fucking criteria of gay endorsements. Uh, 150 Ameri- about 150 million Americans own stocks. 80, 58% own stocks. 1% have 50% of the stocks. Mm. Worth $16 trillion. So did you guys convince uh, the 1% to dump all their shares? Dump billions of yeah. dollars in the 
You did that? Or did you, you convince the 1% to go, hey, there's a little bit of a tiny drop due to stupid outrage. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Should I buy this and make a quick 4% or should I just buy bonds? <laughs> Uh, uh, the bottom 50% of American adults, which is all of you people who are upset by this, yeah. um, own 0.6% of stocks. Dump it, America. Put, a, put a hole in that bucket. Billion dollars. Again, I have to reiterate, it's possible that a boycott could work if you dumb morons can l make it last for more than a week. But you can't boycott something for three days and then go, we <laughs> fucking did it, folks. We fucking did it. That's, you have no, you have to sustain it. What is with this instant gratification? You don't just get to go outside and yell, I'm boycotting Budweiser in we the did stock. It. We did it. Just like, <laughs> no, you actually have to boycott it. You drink it. a lot of Bud? No. No. Yeah. Oh. It has to go for more than like a month. It's like a six complicated months, process a of consumer choice. And I think that the people posting these stock things um, should just, the worst thing that's legally allowed to happen, like they should be mocked. Well, the people who are posting Relentlessly. it, they know that their audience is stupid. So they yeah. always do. I mean, they do this with Facebook. Whenever Facebook like stock drops, they go, Facebook just lost. Five hundred billion dollars. Yeah. And you're like, well, not really, though. Elon. They always do it with Elon Musk. Elon, Elon lost. Musk just lost two hundred billion dollars. I'm like, you okay. never report when the stock goes back up, and he Elon made. makes five hundred billion. Like, they, they kind of do though, because they say he's the richest man in the world. This is the quartering. <laughs> I was disappointed in this one because I really like the quartering. But he says Bud Light blast. Uh, I'll say this about the quartering. He's figured out where his audience uh, lies on this uh, one. Ah, this that's sad. I think he's though. too smart for this, but he, he is uh, a smart guy. This is this is. I dumb, think he just though. knows that this is low hanging fruit, and that's why he's doing it. It's not worth the money. I have too much money. Dick, I have too like much I money to act like this, and he has more money than like me. Like I said early on in the show, I wish I had just become the quarter. <laughs> I wish I had just sold out. He says Bud Light blasts Dylan Mulvaney and uh, higher and claim they never approved massive losses reaching six billion. Massive losses, and see, they, that's why they report it that way because idiots go, "Oh my God, they lost six. They billion lost six dollars. billion dollars." Well, they're, I, I literally saw a guy go, well, they're never going to get that back. And I go, they'll get back by the end of the week. Like, it's what are you talking about? nothing to get back. It's people, <laughs> it's, it's, other people own this stock. stock. Like, it's yes. not, they're not it's losing. It's not their money either. It, the market <laughs> cap has dropped. Like, the stock price has dropped. So other people's value yeah. of the stock is less. Probably, probably hedge funds, actually. Yeah. Because who the fuck hedge else has time to buy Budweiser? 36% across a six-month period. Like, the people that defraud us, the American people, for mm -hmm. like trillions every time there's a catastrophe, they're out p a potential $4 billion. <laughs> oh no. Can't. How horrible. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at this. It's just retard after retards. They're happy about it. It's just so funny that they get, and then finally somebody posts the actual stock prices. They're celebrating this imaginary number. It has it's been so fucking stupid. It has been fascinating, though, the number of right wing figures who have been coming out and saying, guys, we have to stop saying go uh, get woke, go broke. It's not true. Yeah. Matt Walsh said it. I saw Cernovic said it. We have to stop saying it. Yeah, they're like, guys, yeah. like because because they're, they're, they're mad with their audience. They're like, you guys don't do uh, I, I would almost respect you guys if you can tank Bud Light. I would be like, wow, you guys actually did boycott a thing. But like we said, we have boycott of the week for the, a reason. You guys, yeah, but they want they a are not. Return. They are just a bunch of freaks online. Yeah, the, oh, that's people true. People don't care. Like a guy drinking a Bud Light in a bar, or a bar manager is like, did oh, they gave that gay. They gave that gay guy like a can. Like that's funny. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, the only way... They always do gay shit on... But they do, like... like So this is another thing that annoyed me about it. Uh, here is uh, here's another one. Oh, shit. I don't know. Say what you are going to say. I, I was going to say... Yeah, I mean, I do think... I don't know what people... Yeah, maybe there are, like, some dumb redneck bars or really... How, does the average person like buy into this shit, or is it just people on no, Twitter? No, the average person thinks this is gay. I think I would they don't hope care so. about a guy in taking a bath and acting like an asshole on Instagram. Oh, they have a gay uh, beer. Okay, whatever. So here is another another quartering. I feel so bad saying uh, you talk. He says you talk. He's saying to he's 
replying to He's Bud replying Light. To this I don't know why. Apology. Uh, you talk so much about accountability and you take none. You care. You talk about caring so much about our first responders in the military. When was the last time an EMT dedicated Bud Light can you made? How about a military <laughs> one? Just Dylan Mulvaney, right? Boycott still on. Um, Budweiser does military cans all the time. Oh shit! Really? Is that it? Uh, Vito? <laughs> Does America's beer do military cans? Oh, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Constantly. Do you have to be in the military to buy them? Like, where do they where No, do they get sell, them? like, full-on production lines, yeah. honoring our like veterans. A limited edition run or well, something? Well, yeah, cause they know how to advertise to fucking they people. They also only made 12 Dylan Mulvaney cans to send to her. Uh, like, and, that's way and here different. Here's a, here a first. They made, Budweiser made water. Yeah. Like, Safe drinking water. water cans and sent it to firefighters who were battling. I know because I'm in California and yeah. they sent it here. They're battling they the wildfires. Just wild send fires. it to firemen. Yeah, they canned a bunch of drinking but water, which was a nice thing of them to do. Conservatives don't care well, about they, that. They're not All they care about this. is a gay guy who has a lady, <laughs> straight lady, whatever, with her fucking. Fa- it's it's just. It's also, despicable. It's fucking despicable. How many EMTs are like gay guys will buy a gay beer? How many EMTs are going to the beer gay store? Like, Where's the EMT beer, man? How do how come I can't get no EMT beer? <laughs> it's like I don't think they identify that. I don't think EMTs would want their own beer. Like maybe a little bit. A tourniquet know. beer? Yeah. What they is sent that? them actual water. Like oh, you guys are fighting the fire. Like here's yeah, some way better. Here's water. Here's water to keep you alive while you're fighting. I mean, it's uh, to me, it's shameless. But it's like Whatever it's well, what do you? They, what do you want them to do? They're firemen. They're giving them water. That's kind of they need that to do their job. I keep thinking of. I mean, you never watched The Office. Were you an Office guy? I the British know. one. Yeah, well, the, American the American one. one Michael trash. famously uh, is having money troubles, and he comes out of his office and he faces the office and he goes, "I declare I've seen that. bankruptcy." Yeah, and that's basically how these guys think boycotts work: is you just yell it and it happens. Boycott. And then the oh stock God. immediately goes. Boo. Keep an eye. Everybody, keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. It's like, guys, you're not going to get. The, there are no sales figures to report. There's like some anecdotal. And that's like your neighbors that own that stock that are losing money. Yeah, it's well, not the company. That's not how companies exactly. work. It's, it's actual investors. So. <laughs> and again, stock I don't market anyone, morons. If anyone comes back in six months and goes, see, the boycott did succeed. Kill okay. yourself. That wasn't based on the last three. You can't. Figure that out based on the stock data right now. You guys just you don't, don't know drink. how to read. You don't stock. drink. Yeah, you don't get it. You don't know what you're talking about. I find this all fascinating. I've drank more Bud Light than all of you combined. And again, of all the things, like don't don't the conservatives have like government problems that they want to deal with? They're like, like the government arresting their guys. Yeah, and shouldn't they putting be more them in upset prison? About that like shouldn't they be trying no, to get all those they're gay? Because they're secretly out? gay. I don't know what's going on. It's all. Very interesting. Well, Dick, I'm uh, bored of your problem. And you know why? Why? Because I have a diminished attention span, okay. which is my problem this week. The biggest problem in the universe is diminished attention spans. All right. Dick, have you found it hard to focus these days? Almost the way these conservatives can't figure out which company to boycott and just swip, swap, swipity swap. Maybe this one, maybe next week we'll be mad at this. Da, 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 da. Can't focus. You got to focus on one thing at a time, but you can't. I have found that to be a problem, yeah. It is a problem. Well, we have some stats that prove that the average person is suffering from a diminished attention span due okay. to the proliferation of technology and certain types of okay. media. Okay, okay. Researchers in Canada surveyed 2,000 participants and found that since the year 2000, the average attention span has dropped from 12 se- seconds down to eight seconds. That's a big drop. That's 12 a, seconds isn't very long. No, and 12 <laughs> seconds was long enough to begin with. And now we're down to eight. Yeah. What did that start? That started uh, in 2000. It was t- We had 12 seconds 2000. on the clock. How are we feeling? To the, I feel like in the 2000s, I was that like. That was like the Matrix I time, could, like, right? play on my Game Boy for a while. I could Two, watch a movie. Three. Then Four, slowly they've been assailing. Five, well, they say six, you know you know what it's coinciding with. Yeah. Right around the time the mobile phones started showing up, yeah, is, may have contributed to a uh, lesser attention span. This also goes for Twitter trends. Oh, you don't have to worry about those though. I didn't do this problem, did I? 
You did this one already? Well, I think I might have done this problem, which is fucking hilarious. Because I'm reading this, and now I'm going, wait. Did I do this problem already? You don't search the list before every show? Okay, it's kind of funny if I already did the diminished attention span problem, and then brought it in. Go to the go, I know, the I'm waiting. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh fuck. wow. Wow, I'm retarded. <laughs> You know what it is? As I was putting, yeah, I know what it is. As I was, Fat brain, as I was, it up. no, no, no. As I was writing this down, I'm like, <laughs> I literally went, "How have I not done this one before? It's such a good one." Well, I'll come up with another one. Jesus oh, that's Christ, pathetic. I'm retarded. You did this on. You won too. And I won. I should have just went. Well, for let's it put it on twice. Go ahead. What other stats do you have? <laughs> Well, maybe I could switch it up because there is another. No, it's going on as shorter no, attention spans. No, 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 because no, 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 I don't know if I talked about this. Did I talk about the fact that it's the quick cuts, that the cutting of the media now, the way that it snaps between oh, the jump okay. cuts and whatever else. Yeah. Did, I don't know if I got into that last time because that's ahead. really, let me make that my problem. <laughs> jump cuts? Jump cuts, Dick. Well, because as part of the study... Uh, there are these of shorter attention spans. Yeah, on shorter attention spans. Shut up. <laughs> I call it a spinoff problem. <laughs> All right, you know you were that brain. <laughs> it up. <laughs> you can also vote up fat brain. Okay, <laughs> I'm having a I'm having a bad week, guys. Ah, uh, what do you call it? You remember as a kid, you'd watch cartoons and there was like scenes and they played in order and like, cause the animation wasn't that good. They kind of like made yeah. them draw out, you know, yeah, character yeah. would have to be on screen talking for a while. Yeah. Well now you can make something like SpongeBob where it just cuts every two seconds. SpongeBob's doing a thing. Then Squidward's doing a thing. Then fucking Mr. Krabs and shit's falling from the fucking sky. You're not going to shit on SpongeBob. Well, unfortunately, SpongeBob has contributed to this lack of... Ability to attention find. <laughs> Not the exact same problem, it kind of is. Uh, in a study, the uh, 64 year old kids were assigned to do I mean, one of three activities. Shut the fuck up. Either draw, watch uh, SpongeBob, or watch a slower paced cartoon like Caillou. SpongeBob. Caillou. Fuck Caillou sucks. Well, they, they had the kids do an activity and then afterwards gave them a problem solving test. 70% of the kids who uh, participated in drawing passed yeah. the test easily. Kids who watched Caillou, 35% of them passed the test. SpongeBob kids, only 15% of them were able <laughs> to finish out these tasks. Cool. They're warping the they're minds like, why the fuck am I kids? doing these tests? Why don't I just watch SpongeBob? <laughs> SpongeBob teaches you to, to shuck the... The yoke of the system and be your own person. These kids have no... Not be a slave. Uh, look, they all have ADD, ADHD. Let's talk about that problem, okay? okay. Is also, that on there? Is I mean, that on the board? Is, you could bring that this in. This is all part of it. Well, then, yeah, let's do that. Uh, they gave afterwards, they did the same thing. They left the room. They said you used the jump cut stats for attention all spans, right. too. Well, then I have fucking <laughs> nothing. <laughs> God damn it! <gasps> and Mint remembers, and she has autism, and doesn't she? Autism. So she's got she's got you pegged. About six point one million children in the United States between the ages of two to seventeen are estimated. <gasps> How to did have you not ADHD. think that you did something so obvious I don't already? Know. I just like because it was. You like, have another problem that you want? I, I just want to use. I have another. Problem. Just use shorter attention spans on there twice. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of funny that it's <laughs> on there twice. <laughs> It's kind of perfect. It's like I couldn't even pay attention to the fucking show. Is how much of a it's less only of a thirty episodes too. Like that's less than a year since yeah. the last time you did it. I don't know, man. My brain's fried. It's been a long <laughs> week. I guess it's been a long week. Why? Um, uh, because I'm just working on the comic. I'm, I'm I'm trying to get that fucking Indiegogo up. I sent uh. you a link. Bring up the link. Uh, I got another problem for you. Don't worry about it. Link for show. All right. This was a tweet that came across my screen from okay. Millennial Woes. I like that guy. It says oh. He's on back by. Oh, really? Is he? Yeah. Okay. Well, I won't talk shit about what an idiot he is. I mean, he I says, don't talk about whatever you says, want. He says, well, it's Easter. You know, just for once, it would be nice to be surprised <laughs> by these fucking communists. <laughs> And he shows 200,000 views Google on that home screen. Yeah. My problem, Dick, is Google Doodle uh, Gripers, noticers, Doodle. guys who are obsessed with the fucking Google Doodle. Go over to Google. Is there a Doodle today? When do they? When do they have? When was their last Doodle? They probably have a history of Doodles, right? 
Google Doodles. Yeah. Let's take a look. As, as we know, if you use Google, occasionally they will uh, change the Google logo to show us something And cool. everyone just th- loves it. They think it's so cool <laughs> Whatever. I mean, when something. Google makes a picture. <laughs> well, some people think it's cool. Yeah. Some people are very upset at the Google Doodles and have been for quite some time. Uh, there's all sorts of reasons why people get mad at the Google Doodles. Obviously, Millennial Woes was upset that the godless communists at Google did not respect the Easter holiday. However, It's odd that they don't put even some eggs up there. Well, Google has said that we do not uh, do any explicitly religious holidays. That's horseshit, though. Is it? It's retarded. <laughs> what? It's there. I mean, they don't want to offend anybody. I mean, they, yeah, they do. They want to offend, offend everybody Christians. anyway. Well, no, they don't want to do that. Uh, this has been going on forever. Uh, Fox News reported on this all the way back in like 2012, saying Google has snubbed Easter with no doodle for the 18th year in a row. Yeah. As actor James Wood chimed in saying they loathe Christians. They do. Why? Because they're a bunch of like silicon. Because they're silicone. all from India. Valley. No, a lot of them are from India. There are a bunch of like Silicon Valley uh uh godless pedophiles. <laughs> yeah. Like a homosexual gangsters, sure. you know. Cuz they're a bunch of like ch- like th- they it, they're in like a little cult. Okay, but it's the Google Doodle. Who cares? Why does it matter? I don't care, but I'm just saying that they care. they're a bunch they care of very deeply. fucking shitbags. As uh, World Debt Daily wrote, or WorldNetDaily.com wrote. Because they're evil. Sorry. Sure. That's what I think. Because they're evil. In 2006, for the eighth year in a row, Google has made no effort to communicate or to commemorate U.S. veterans or war dead. No tributes to Veterans Day or Memorial Day. So Google, let's see, hates Christians. They hate veterans. They have Qatar Day. Look at that. So it, that's not like offensive is that at what all. It is? Was it Guitar Day? It's Qatar. Oh, Qatar. Qatar Day, whatever. There's a lot more women on there, which is interesting because the Spark movement. They've never done movement, anything. It is interesting. Well, women have complained based on doodles from 2010 to 2013. Sorry, these are all old stats. The Internet Giant created 445 doodles, but of those, 357 were men slash male centric, and only 73 yeah. were based around women. Of those 73, only 19 featured women of color. Clearly, now they are overcompensating. Only n- <laughs> uh, with the women of color. They who have they Mother's Day. Hated. Mother's they, Day. I'm so they sh- don't have Easter, but they could have Mother's Day. It's not a religion. Mother's Day is not a religious holiday. Well, what is it? Like a day? Know. It's just a day. It's just a holiday. It's Easter. Uh, many conservatives were upset over a 2007 doodle commemorating the 50th anniversary of the launch of the first human satellite, saying it was a celebration of Russian communism. Uh, the time <laughs> people said. A That's totalitarian dumb. regime <laughs> that were a Cold War enemy. But yet again, you have never commemorated U.S. military personnel. Uh, you only love the communists. Oh, look, they got Veterans Day right here. Well, look. yeah, I think finally they had to do it because everybody kept complaining about it. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure they do do Veterans Day now. But then people still fucking complain because they don't yeah. do Easter. You can't do every single fucking thing. You could I do mean, Easter. Why? Just put, like, Why Easter? put Jesus Christ on a cross and then have his abs as the oogle. Yeah. Go- oogle. <laughs> I don't right? think people like want that. Like that. Put two guys blowing his blowing him. Do you want to know the most controversial Easter uh, that happened to Google? Was that no. on uh, 2013, in 2013, the holiday happened to fall on the birthday of labor organizer Oh, Caesar I remember. Chavez. I remember that. I remember that. And everyone, you gave that fucking commie instead of... Goddamn Jesus! He was ah! based though. Was he? Be- what oh, Caesar Chavez? Yeah, he coined the term uh, uh, "wetback." I could say it. He was all about those grapes. He made a literal. Uh, Cesar Chavez made a literal wall out of human beings to stop illegal immigration. Okay. How? When? I didn't because he got all Caesar the United. <laughs> All the U.S. farm workers and got what, them they all got down all the there. Immigrants out of there. No, and he said, "All right, we're all chaining our arms together so that the no. illegals can't come across into the country, like in a, a wall of people." How long did he do that for? A couple minutes. <laughs> Short attention span. Uh, uh, look at these doodles. Any Day other? of the Dead. Is that not a religious, religious thing? Holiday? No, it's dead people. I'm trying How's to say, that what's that one? Oh, Israeli elections. Well, that one's gonna offend some people. <laughs> 
I'm not saying it. They probably only put that in Israel. They don't put that in America. Oh, you don't? Do you think they have different stuff for Israel? I think so. You think they like filter out all the anti-Israel stuff on the internet in Israel? I don't think they could filter they it all out. I don't think that would be possible. Not- <laughs> yeah, that's every website in existence. All I'm saying, Dick, is there's so many of these guys out here hating on the Google Doodle. I yeah. think that uh, ultimately, guys, they're not going to do Easter. They don't want to do Easter. They don't do any religious holidays. They don't do fucking Ramadan. You know, they don't do Kwanzaa. So- yeah, but fuck uh, those holidays. <laughs> but Easter's good? Yeah, because Jesus all their customers, because most of their customers are qu- Christians. I so don't just think do that's the true. Fucking, well, you have that stat. What's America? It's a Christian nation. It's not all Christians. I'm all, there's a lot. There's a lot Most more people of, who are celebrating Easter than there is Mother's Day you, or Father's what did Day. You do for Easter, <laughs> nothing. I, drugs. Most people do nothing for Easter. Flavored I cocaine that I showed. Uh, yeah. But can't they like just do it and like sh- just shut up and fucking do the doodle? Just bake the fucking cake. <laughs> I just wear the jersey. You fucking yeah. Hockey piece. Like, what of do shit. you want everyone to like? Why do you want to piss people off so much with why not just putting a bunch of off? fucking? Like, what do you care? It's, you shouldn't care because they put fun. a bunch. They put a bunch of crap on here. Teacher Appreciation Day. Israeli Election Day. Teachers Appreciation Day. It's like every holiday they make this like <laughs> Fiverr doodle for. Yeah. And I mean, it's dumb anyway. But then like Easter, it's just nothing. Like. Uh, Okay, man. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Like, what's the point of that? Do you need Do you need any other website on the internet to be Easter themed for you to be happy? Yeah, but they're doing Should themes Twitter all the time. Have, be like, oh, like a uh, change the send button to a little Easter bunny or some shit. Like, what do you care? Make it an egg. Because they're making a choice not to do it. So like, they, then they just then we can't have this at all. It's like they did a nice little thing. You go to your homepage that you have to go to every day, and you're like, oh, a little, a little thing. Like no, a little thing. no, no Christmas. So do do their employees get like I think they Christmas do, time I think off, they do, or is it like I think they do Christmas? I haven't seen one. Well, I don't know if you went back far enough, but uh, Christmas is kind of like a world holiday now. It's not even really a religious thing. Oh, wow. They have five Anne Frank Day. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Anne Frank did a lot. This is the one. This is the Anne Frank Day. This is the doodle honoring when her dad wrote, no, crossed out stop, all the stuff about stop, puberty. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> <laughs> I will have no Anne Frank slaughter <laughs> slander on this show. All right? uh, Look, these are all fun, and you want to take away the fun from me. Uh, my Christian feelings are hurt. Just I didn't the get fucking a eggs on. Doodle. Get, put the get, fucking get. doodle on. How about What's the big deal? How about you guys are just so uh, you know? Uh, uh, I'm not Christian. Of your faith. Well, then you shouldn't care. But I think all the Christians. How about just go enjoy your holiday? What a great holiday! Okay, you don't need a little fucking drawing. You can go buy a picture of the Easter Bunny and look at it yourself. Okay. Okay. Well, you don't need a beer can then. How about that? <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? I don't need a beer. We can. don't get a drawing. You don't get a fucking beer I don't can. Get a dial you don't get a gay thing. beer no, can. You get nothing. We'll throw a big fit. They're off. Cause a big fucking problem. <laughs> we'll t- everything in the world will be fucking dumb and complainy because we can't get a fucking picture of eggs. <laughs> I want my if picture of eggs. If we made an Easter beer can, do you think they'd stop? Yeah, actually. If they made a Bud Light like a Jesus can, and it just had Jesus on it, people would love it. Our Lord and Savior. Yeah. People would just. That would be, you know what? That would have The been, Passion of the Christ was a fucking huge blockbuster. I think the better way to address all the angry conservatives would be to just put out like a beer that's just like, I don't know. What's the most like homophobic, but not exactly homophobic thing? Tim Pool, because he's gay. Yeah, and he, he hates. Put out some Tim Pool cans. <laughs> Honestly, if they it, should have. They, they should, should have given have. them to both. They should be like, okay, Dylan, you get one. And Matt Walsh, you get one, and then it's like, buy, <laughs> buy whoever is the biggest gay that you think. And then Matt yeah. Walsh would be like, oh, I'm so fucking, I'm getting the vapors that I can't believe Bud Light would honor me in such a way. My problem is Google Doodle haters, guys, just have fun with it. Isn't it nice that the website is a little Wait, fun? Get thing? vaccinated, wear a mask, save oh, lives. That's that what it one. says. Let's not look at that one. <laughs> Stop to put it up. I'm gonna. How lose. hard would it be to just say <laughs> Happy Easter? Okay. All right. Hey, shitheads! Making happy Easter! Sure. You you are our product, are you not? Don't We're Christians selling you to advertisers already. Like, what more do they need? Just a little respect. You go to Target. They got a whole section of Easter bullshit. 
You know? is, that, is that so bad? No, it's not so bad. But I'm saying you get everything. You got it. It's in the stores. You can buy all your little baskets of fake grass. How many fucking Teacher's Day doodles do they have? <laughs> Look, man, teachers Jesus need to be Christ. recognized. They're all, they're all like, what do you call it? They're all hippies over there, man. They love teachers. Uh, cult. Cultists. All right. Well, we'll make, we'll you're make you an for. Easter doodle. Why don't they make a, you should make a browser plug in. I should. I should make a browser plug in. on Easter makes a special Google. I will. I'll make it an AI. And charge it like five bucks. Yeah, have an yeah. AI Google. I'll have doodle. it an AI. Um, Religious my problem, doodles on your homepage. My problem is uh, cover charges. Yeah. The Oxford English Dictionary defines a cover charge as rape. Well, the, the Oxford Dictionary says it. How it's can I It's sexist. Complain? It's sexist. And discriminatory. Oh, okay. So it should be illegal. Because women get in for free. Because women get in for free. Yeah. And uh, people get in for free who are not me get to skip the line yeah. for no reason. That's discrimination. Well, and that's against the law. In some, in some states, it is against the law. Uh, it's like a, it's like a mystery box. Yeah. Where you have to pay 20 bucks to get into a bar. Which might suck inside. And it will, it probably will it suck probably inside. Will. And then you're stuck in there. So you're fucked coming in because you don't know what's there. Some stupid band that you don't even want to see. Right. That you are getting dragged to. And then you get inside and it's like, oh, I wonder if there'll be any, uh, not fat girls in here. Sure enough, there's not. I mean, you're going to a bar in L.A., there's going to be fat girls, right? Mostly, yeah. if not all. Um, all the chicas are uh, out prowling the night. Um, this was... Wait a minute, I brought some stats on this, too, if you can believe it. Well, I know that there have been some uh, famous court cases. Did you find any of those? No, I didn't know that. Well, maybe I'll look that up real quick. <laughs> and help you out. It started during uh, Prohibition. Where the host events uh, within the saloon would charge customers for participating in the event and then provide free alcohol mm. as a courtesy. So mm. this is another thing that Prohibition caused, in addition to the mob, Yeah, was cover charges at bars. And they got rid of Prohibition. They're like, well, let's just keep the keep charging. Why would we stop Man, doing Man, it's money. Money's that? money. Start charging what for are you liquor, too. Uh, Prohibition went into effect... And then uh, when it ended, the saloons were loath to give up a source of income, especially one that consisted of almost nothing but pure profits. Strip clubs do this, too. 50 bucks to get in. And then you got to pay for the dances. That's fine. But then you, you're you like, well, can you tell me, like, the... Who's working? Can you tell me the combined, the number of girls and their combined weight before I buy? <laughs> so you can do okay, some we got 15. Head. Yeah, we got over 30 girls here. Okay, but tell me the weight. Is it over 7,000 pounds? <laughs> 7,300 on the dot, sir. Guess the weight of the strip club. Yeah. That's the game I like. If I can guess the weight, do I get, <laughs> in, for get in for free within 100 pounds? <laughs> they should have that. Yeah. The strippers if you can guess the weight. The, of the, um, the practice continues into the modern form in this day. Let me see here. The typical club charge is sixteen dollars. Wow. Uh, that's six grand of pure profit coming Every, in. What a night. week, a night? Yeah, on a night. Six thousand oh dollars. It's fucking bullshit. Just to enter the establishment. Because then you got these people who don't drink. No. Yeah. And they're like, "Well, we have to charge because these people are just this broad's just br drinking water." And you're like, "Well, I'm but obviously I'm gonna drink." Drinking. Yeah. Her friends probably aren't drinking either. But I, I am going to drink, so what do, why yeah. do I have to pay my cover charge, too? See, this is why I don't go to bars, Dick. It's just too much money. Exactly. And then no and one goes out. Suck. Yeah, now nobody goes to these things. What, are girls going to come out and pay 20 bucks just to be out? The whole no. point of bar culture and, like, pubs, you look at, like, pubs in England, it's like, it's free to go in, you can hang out there all day. Yeah. You know, you're paying for your drinks. They get a little something back, and you just hang out, read the newspaper. We have nothing like that in America. America won't let you sit in a place. If you're sitting, you're paying. That's no. why everybody goes to fucking Starbucks, because it's like the only refuge. You can sit there? Or you can just sit there and fuck around mm. and buy a drink if you want one. Okay, well, that's my problem. Well, I was going to say, I mean, do you know about the famous ladies' night rulings from the California Supreme Court? No, what's that? Because on ladies' night, women don't have to pay the cover, right, Dick? That's racist. 
well, not racist, I would say it's more sexist, but sure. The California Supreme Court ruled that ladies' days at a car wash and ladies' nights at a nightclub violate California's Unruh Civil Rights Act in Core vs. Metro Car Wash and Angeluki vs. Century Supper Club. So it is actually possible, uh, depending on some states, in Illinois' lady nights in Illinois have been upheld under the anti-discrimination provision of the Dram Shop Act. So... Uh, it is legal in Illinois to discriminate against men. Based so on California, it's More women have to pay, so then nobody wants to go out. Right. God exactly. damn it. You got to move to Illinois where the ladies get in. So then you get a free. whole bar packed full of like Middle Eastern men. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's. With erections. They love that. Doing stuff, Blue man. Chew that they got with a promo code off their favorite podcast. And there's, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of interesting uh, rulings on this that people should look up. There was a New York Yankees Ladies Day promotion, which the New York State Human Rights Board said, no, don't give women a night of baseball. We don't I like, like that. Them. Yeah, keep that I out. like that, but then get rid of the fees. Don't do them for anybody. All right. Okay, that's my problem. What are our what are our problems? <laughs> our <laughs> problems are, what was your first problem? Uh, uh, stock market stock morons. Stock market morons. Mine is too much attention spans, again. <laughs> or too short of attention spans. Yeah. Followed, of course, by Google Doodle haters. Haters? And Google Doodle dummies. There you go. A little more alliteration for you. Okay. And uh, whatever your last one was, uh, cover charges. Cover charges. Yeah. Okay. Guys, don't forget, bonus episode, Biggest Problem in 420 at patreon.com slash biggest problem and backed up by slash biggest problem. Uh, okay, here you go. Vito, get your super chats in I now. Know you don't wear the seatbelt in your car because you're fat and it's uncomfortable. No, and I know this because I used to be fat and it was uncomfortable. One, you should wear your seatbelt because, like Dick said, you're gonna die in a low speed car crash because of yeah. all that mass That's cool. moving forward and hitting your <laughs> steering wheel and windshield. <laughs> Two. Because maybe it'll convince you to take that bike from Dick, go trusted, for a ride, trusted. lose yeah, some weight, trusted. so the seatbelt actually fits along your hips instead of across your giant stomach. Dick's <laughs> bike rusted. Uh, I didn't wear my seatbelt uh, when I was skinny, so it's been a long, it's been a long-term journey of not wearing my seatbelt. You didn't wear it when you're skinny. Why would I wear it when I was skinny and not when I was fat? Because it's safe. It's safer. Safety is gay. Safety third. It's gayer than Dylan Mulvaney. All right. Well, better luck uh, next time. Here's another one. Something about your comic. Hey, uh, call in to uh, weigh in on what might be keeping keeping Vito up at night. I mean, aside for the aforementioned Crippling depression. Uh, wait. Um, when you guys were on Ricana, there's that guy Joe or something like that who released a comic, Child's child's comic book or something like that yeah. and man I, i'm sure it just fucking crushes vito's soul to see like this fucking guy this school teacher could release a fucking comic successfully make seventy thousand dollars off the kickstarter and you know he's got a he's got a pretty comic book ready to go he's like yeah we're we're, we're talking about it it's, it's it's ready right now right now Vito. when he when he talks about it it's fucking ready all right now get some sleep buddy thanks Ciao. he's one of those geeks and gamers guys so he gets to promote it over on you know to oh. their weird hate group oh. and i can't I do that call it a weird hate group that's probably You're why right. you... it's a fun hate group <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember who he's talking about uh drunk 3po is a guy he was who... on there with us yeah yeah he's oh, the one shit. talking about his comic i don't remember that you know do you know oh, that guy oh i remember that kind of now yeah uh, does he not like he's you? He's like the most. Does no, he not like either of us? I, well, I think no. He probably is fine with you. Mm. Me, I think That's he's good. That's I think he's required move. to hate me because I fight with his dad. But who's his dad? That Jeremy guy from Geeks and Gamers. The guy. Who Which one is he? Is he the uh, one that D said Dog like Cobra? Is he the, he's the one, one that said like Andor is racist? Yes, he's the one who said Andor is racist. And then he said that Mario is like woke, and then he's like Princess no, never Peach. Mind, it's yeah, not he said woke. Princess Peach looks too confident, and then he took it back. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, those guys have a good little promotion machine going. Yeah, and I've been banned from Twitter, so well, all my all my enemies I are they're winning at every. They are they're absolutely <laughs> winning. I'm losing. 
I'm, right. I'm losing and I've possibly already lost. And I just have to accept it. Like it's over. <laughs> I picked I picked the path that I thought was true and right. And I should have just lied to people about Star Wars and <laughs> women ruining their comics and their movies. Women are ruining stuff though. Some stuff, not all stuff. Princess mm-hmm. Peach was not a woke girl boss, and I can't make videos. Yeah, but Mario that was say good. Yeah, but I can't. The only things that are ruined were ruined by women. They'll do a thing where, like, the trailer comes out, and, like, yeah. I looked at the Mario trailer, and I went, oh, man, that looks fun. I can't wait to see that. And they yeah. go, I don't know, Princess Peach looks kind of like a feminine Nazi. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I just can't make that. I can't I can't force myself to say those things or uh, believe those it's things. It's retarded, though. I I thought so, but people really no, want to hear it. Yeah, they people want, are retarded, what, though. Pe- yes, people really want to yeah. hear that. Okay. And I don't have it in me to say it, so I have to figure out some other thing I can do. <laughs> Because I can't, I can't talk about movies in a way that like you know engages. Just an audience. do like a thing of making fun of them, then like do a roundup on your sometimes I on do. your Monday night grip. You're like, whoa, what a that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That's so fucking <laughs> dumb. And then like have sound effects. I talk about dumb, some of that, dumb, but it's dumb, just, dumb, 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 dumb. People aren't that interested in that. They're way more interested in hearing about a big corporation forcing their kids to be gay. I don't know. You got to hit them harder. I think I'm just gonna find something else to do with my time. Okay. Like slowly take a knife and <laughs> ease it All between right, my well, ribs. Look, the- Dick is exaggerating the piss phobe problem. Oh. The problem with the piss phobes is not not that we have a problem with someone pissing next to us okay. in the next stall. I work in an office with two people, two <laughs> Two urinals next to each other. I piss next to people all the time. Oh, this guy was it's really offended. Someone literally <laughs> staring at he you. He works in, in a toilet. No pissing. wonder he's offended. Like looking at you, it's staring at you, looking at you, you. pissing. Okay. Or when the person next to you is looking at your face while you're trying to piss. I've never had this to happen. Hold the I mean, I, I wouldn't remember That's it if when it happened. The piss does not come out of your dick. It just does. It, it doesn't. Oh. Your, your pissing glands don't work in those situations. That's why people complain. Are these guys like all afraid of people being they can't around pee? when you're pissing? So they can't uh, it, piss it, it, when it, somebody's it next to them. It's not a problem. It's not a distracting them. Yeah. Problem. It's not a staring. At them. That they're doing nothing. Probably being, not liking someone looking you directly in the face or in the back while you're no one. You you're you're, well, no one's looking it, you in the back. It, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> In those situations. I need some it comments doesn't. on this video. Guys, have you ever been pissing and someone comes up and just locks eyes with you silently? In the back. Or starts to, or start, did he say someone's staring at him from behind? Yeah, he just said that at the end. So, like. Someone's looking at your face or I staring at you in the back. I paranoid, yes. man. I don't think anyone's standing behind you watching you piss. And if they are, they're probably waiting to use the urinal. Nothing. It, it, your dick just doesn't work. In looking you directly in the face or in the back while you're. In the back. While you're pissing, it, it, your dick just doesn't work. So these guys can't <laughs> have physically piss because their anxiety, <laughs> their anxiety is so high. <laughs> like a woman driving in the fast I mean, lane on the freeway. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't <laughs> piss. I'm gonna say this sounds schizophrenic. He's like, and what before you go into the bathroom, you see two white cars parked outside, and we all know what that means. Please let me know in the comments. Do you ever feel like someone is staring at you while you're pissing at the urinal and then you can't piss? Now they're not going to say it because they know it sounds dumb. No, I want to know. Maybe it's a thing. I don't know. I know, but you got to trick them into saying. And then you go to get orange soda, and of course the gang stalkers got there before you, and they <laughs> hit all the orange sodas. You get by uh, it. All right, here you go. Dick, you really fucked up by saying that you're a free speech absolutist. Oh. And that defamation should be legal, but you should get sued for it. You really did not think about that one. And then ten seconds that. later, you can see your face just realize, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Is someone from Ireland trying to tell me about free speech? <laughs> well, as people have pointed out, you were famously involved in a lawsuit for defamation. Well, yeah, you could sue people. Yeah, okay. Doesn't mean you're going to win. Well, as a free speech absolutist, I agree. <laughs> you can, like... <laughs> You can hit someone yeah. and get like a thousand dollar fine, mm. but if you messed up their face, you can get sued for like fifty million dollars because of the damages, the harm. So I'm sorry, a euro cuck yeah. wouldn't understand the concept of well, like tort law. As a free speech absolutist, I think 
It's all well and good. He's one of the leading free speech advocates in America. You can sue for anything, you stupid shit. Whatever. That's the fucking point of, right. no, this guy, not you. I know. All right. Let's look at the super <sighs> chats. on my side. Hey, look at that. 475 viewers. Yeah, apparently when I'm uh, mentally ill and <sighs> people tune in to watch me fall off the cliff. Of your own doing. Tune in tomorrow when uh, <laughs> <laughs> we go to a gun store and see what they've got in stock. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Wow, that's a lot of super chats. Jesus Christ. When I, at least when I turn into Maddox, you'll have like enough fodder for a show. No, you can't turn it. Maddox would never kill himself. Yeah. Never. Because right. he's too he'll die thinking, I really nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> He'll die thinking like I inspired the next. I'm I was a trailblazer and they just didn't understand my genius, but people will read my book of He's Harry Fire whales, Engine. Yeah. yeah, someone's gonna read fuck whales usually. I'm from gonna now. pee back on top. He's gonna die going like <laughs> I'm glad just some people got my like, you know, my artistic <laughs> statement of my life. Uh, he would never kill God. himself. And he should. Uh, let's see. DK, dead cat for five. Dick, did you see the film with Nicolas Cage and the Mexican guy from Last of Us? And have you seen his Western film? And will you see his new film? Jesus Christ, three questions. I'm not going to answer any of them because you asked too many. What was the name of that movie, though? Him and Pablo Picasso. Uh, the Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. I saw it twice in, like, a week. I loved it It's so good. Much. I still have to see it. Yes, it's one of the few movies that does acid correctly. That and Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I should watch it. Riley for 220 says nothing. Hey, Riley, how you doing? David Gomez for five. You guys should air on BET with how late the show always is and the absence of Vito's father. <laughs> well, my father's absent for a different reason, not for that. Carlisle P for 1999 says, Giswaldi for PKA... By the way, take that pride hat off. It's Goku? Not a pride hat. It says Goku. Wasn't that Dragon Ball? It's Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know why they thought it was Who a He's talking to hat. me. I don't know. Coup for two. PKA they, is too afraid to have you on. No, nah, they'll have me on. I just got to actually ask them. Coup for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Well, thank you, <laughs> Coup. Adam has two hands for 499. Time to cut Carl loose. He's promoting a boomer morning show now. Steel Toe Boring Show. Oh no. You're not a you're not a there's a new there's a new show in town called the Steel Toe Morning Show. Oh. And uh they, they do a morning show and then uh nobody likes onions is mad at them, but Carl is friends with them and Carl and Chad Zumox all over the place. I can't keep track of it. I saw that red guy that red bar guy draw a picture of uh and he says OnlyFans is really funny. It <laughs> yeah, it's really good. He really pissed her off. Yeah, yeah it was accurate though. Was I it? mean, it looked pretty. It looked better than the OnlyFans. Was it a drawing of her naked? Uh, topless. Yeah. Nice. Clay Kellinger for one ninety nine says, "Screw the Federal Reserve." I agree. Rich for four ninety nine. I don't know why anyone's surprised. Vito can sing. All rotund Italian women are natural opera singers. Yeah. Conte Marti. What is that? Conte Martino. Is it Conte Martino? Martino. Just rolling for five. Just rolling here. Vito, no Twitter means you have time to write your comic and fix, then ride the bike. It'll be fun. Needs a new chain. <laughs> sound like That's a, it. Sound like someone's father. It's going to be fun. You're going to have fun. I'm going to be miserable no matter what. John Refs for five. Speaking of PDF files, the PKA mod aptly named Antagonist banned me from the PKA Discord for sharing my AI videos and memes. He oh, will face that's who that guy is? He showed up in our Discord saying like, hey, Dick, when you're on PKA, uh, tell Woody I want to fight him. I'm like, man, uh, when you tell me to like tell people things for you, I just hope that you get killed by a drunk driver <laughs> or your whole family. Uh, first of all that, and secondly... Uh, you are some no-name rando. I don't know why you think of someone like Woody yeah. would want to fight you. But I guess he's you one of their mods. So well, somebody they should demod him. him. I'll he, tell Taylor that he needs to demod that. It's too it much attention weird. seeking. Yeah, you should it's be way bother, too much attention guests. seeking. Don't bother guests with your stupid shit. Uh, Andy Aldridge for five says, "Thank you for not killing yourself, Vito. Thank you, Andy." Brett's man for two. Bob's or Vagine? Uh, Curry. Yeah. Kyle Baxter for 10. Hey, Vito, sounds like you should go cap camping for a weekend. Reset, bro. Uh, uh, you're going to love camping. Uh, I've gone camping. <laughs> Shut up. Did I love it? No, but 
<laughs> I've thought about renting one of those Airbnb like cabins though. Just going yeah. there for like a month. Being alone with your thoughts is that something that's good that you like doing? No, then I'll definitely end up. Doing. Yeah, Jesus Christ, like... I need to be surrounded by people. <laughs> Uh, AAC presents, I'll keep helping you promote Super Kelavito. Just don't die in the wilderness with or without your cats. From Mint Salad. Thank you, mm. Mint. My only supporter. Kara Fro for 20, my only other supporter. Don't be the man down by the river, Vito. Uh, it's too late for me. I'm already dead. Inside, anyway. Proctor's for five. I got to finish that uh, Tim Pool Rock song I've been working on. Okay. There's a lot of incel rage piled up in there. That sounds cool. That's kind of cool. Proctor's for five. Vito, you're great. Please stick around. I don't think about you, it. You farmed a lot of super chats with your bogus, I'm going to kill yeah, myself. Now I'm just going to get a bunch of comments going, Vito's just saying he's going to do it. He's not actually going to, like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, tr I mean, that's true. <laughs> you are just saying it. I'm not trying to emotionally manipulate you guys. I'm trying to. You're doing it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to actually kill myself. I just feel like if I was dead, no one would care. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, no, I know. Look, some of you guys are nice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Riley and Ralph both ruined the dick show way before you did. We've all ruined the dick show from Mint Salad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> DK, dead cat for 10. Vito gets banned on Twitter and Owen Benjamin isn't. Maybe instead of fighting anime creeps, Vito, you should have called people stupid for believing in the moon landing and not having kids and a wife. Yeah, you can say anything on Twitter unless you're me, and then you get banned. Oh, God, I'm so fucking sick of these tr fucking trad people talking about how you got to have kids and a wife constantly. It's all they care Just about. Just fucking dude, stop worrying about other people's kids, you fucking pedophile. They really are obsessed with bro, other do you have, people's bro, kids. Bro, do you have a wife? Bro, do you, do you have, have a wife and kids? Bro, you like, make totally kids. fucking, I don't know if you ever thought about it. You ever thought about having a wife and kids? Bro, I got a kiosk down at the mall. You come by, I'll talk to you about having a wife, having kids. Look, you can talk about my wife. You want to talk about my wife? Look at her. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> Isn't my wife beautiful? Isn't my wife beautiful? Yeah, she's good looking, man. Yeah, mine, it's amazing. Here's my have... kids. Are my kids beautiful? Oh, Which one do you think kids. is more beautiful? They're so smart. <laughs> Bro, I'm not tell you which fuck one of your kids off! That's <laughs> oh, horrifying. <laughs> Justin, only in for another five. The Nazis are too cool. Problem made me realize something. Every human being has something of value they brought to the table, especially Vito. And then the Nazis brought us something we like. Huh. Great Israel? costumes. No. <laughs> the gentleman sausage for five. The biggest problem is participation beer cans. Yeah. You can't give one person a beer can without everyone else crying. They didn't also get a beer can. It is true. It is true. AM 1202 for five. Vito has a lot of potential. Smart, funny, creative. He is a great foil for Dick, says D Cups. Okay. Thank you, sir. Shiny Quest for $19.99. Vito, if you want to lose weight by not doing anything, just eat sweet potatoes for two months. Jesus Christ. You'll lose like 40 pounds. Also, why do liberals always say I identify with blank? Great show. Thanks, guys. I don't know. You'll lose 40 pounds? Yeah, just Pork it is why. Um, with eating only sweet potatoes? <laughs> sweet potatoes, I guess. That, I could not do that. I don't get that. I, I, food is like the only good thing in my life. That's the problem. Is that I like food. And I uh -huh. hate everything else, including myself. Okay. Kaiju Turtle for two seventy nine. Richard, check the DM I sent you on Twitter. Oh yeah. Um you oh, sent this... it as like a you didn't send it as a link or something I could download though. And I'm obviously not gonna put my Twitter what if you DMs hit those three on dots. Does that not let you download it? No. No. Copy message? No, I don't think that helps. You got to send it to me like a file or no. No, that literally copies out what he said. Yeah. Play it next Sorry, week. Sorry, man. Play uh, it next week. Send him the actual file so we have it. Okay. Here we go. All right. We'll keep it in mind, Kaiju Turtle. Thank you, though. Ryan for 550 Canadian. Hey, Vito, here's an idea for you if your comic fails. Get a job like the rest of us <laughs> have <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's 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 yeah. what's gonna have to happen. Go work at Target and steal stuff. Oh my god, if I had to work retail again, I can't. I couldn't do it. I'd kill myself. I wouldn't kill myself. I'm gonna kill myself. If, look, if it all falls apart, I will go back to the card game company and I'll go. Well, guys, I did it. I crashed and burned, and I ruined my life. Can I make spaceship cards again? And they will hopefully say yes. Why don't you just do more stuff? I'm doing well. I I don't know. I have some other ideas for how to make some money. We'll okay. see. Okay. 
This is this is good. This is going good, right? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> God, I'm so <laughs> fucked. Plumbo for five fifty. I love the capsule core Goku hat. Thank you. I also like this hat. I bought this hat recently at the Frank and Sons collectible show. Oh yeah. Clark and Source for five. I wasn't planning on buying it, but as a veto, I feel inclined to buy the comic so you don't kill yourself. It's a pretty good pitch, TBH. Yeah, Thank it you. is. Thank you. Send a sister five veto. I'll buy your comic. You're a funny guy. Thank you. Uh, Berserk eight fifty for five. Cover the neurotic guys podcast next time on Who Are These Podcasts? Veto. Yes. I don't know if Carl's going to want to do that. Why? I don't know. I don't know if he's saying he's a pussy. He some uh, Chrissy Margo's on there, so he probably can't do it. Can't. Carl could do whatever he wants. Carl's well, at, not going to pick a fight time. with Chrissy. It's not a fight. It's just reviewing. I it. turned he reviewed into, my podcast. I That's why we're friends. Chrissy Mars birthday show, and she had on Carl, <sighs> Kumia, Eric July. And I, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, it's the end of that. <laughs> So now <sighs> Carl and Eric July are probably going to be best friends, and that's going to be a whole thing. Send us this for five. I've already said that. Berserk. You're going to see him in Philly. Is, is Chrissy going to be there, though? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I don't think so. No, Carl, I think Carl and me are okay. I would hope so. He's I hope so, too. Be it's going to be an awkward I, show. Yeah, no, me and Carl are good. I've been on his show. I think he probably is like, you know... Carl's Carl's a pretty right leaning guy. I think he's like, oh, that fucking liberal piece of shit or whatever, but huh. in like a fun way. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Nick Ricada, I think, hates me. <laughs> Why do you think that? I think, again, it's one of these things where like they feel like they have to tolerate me because of you. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know. I would. I want to go on Nick Ricada's show to promote my comic. You should tell him that. Okay. Or maybe I'll send him a message. <laughs> what am I? No, you're fucking right. Fucking you secretary. Well, maybe I we, just went maybe off on that on guy together. for telling me to tell somebody else something. You're right. I'm not going to go on. Rica- I mean, I would go on, but I don't think he wants me on there. I'll say, uh, let me come on. We'll argue about something. And I'll be the, I'll be the fall guy. I'll be the liberal. Okay. I'll say, well, maybe kids are trans. You don't know. You know, and then he can rip on me. And it'll that's be a whole true. Thing. Yeah. Pop quiz for 999. Vito, you're so amazing and based way better than Boogie. Yeah. Now nah, you'll see. I'm going to, it's going to get worse and worse. 0.024 for Euro 599. Do acid. I'm on acid now. You will die one day, Vito. I'll mm. buy a copy of Super Killer if you do a flip. Well, buy go. it before I do the flip. And then you'll do it. Yeah, and then I'll do it. Wet Bandit for 10. How can you claim Yu Gi Oh! is for PDF files? Not only is there no true player base, there's also no female player base. Thus, having a smaller gross PDF file population per game. Well, that's a good argument. The margins, though, looks weird. Yeah. It the looks, art sucks it looks too. gay. Yeah, looks messed but up. But Magic definitely has more of a trans population playing it. I don't know. The margins are, lo- are tight, nice. Carl LP for 499. How much for Vito to drop acid next episode? I mean, you got a buy million me the dollars. Acid. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Attacking us for five. Hey, Vito, hey, Dick, tell Captain Insano to con- sign the contract for me. Th- oh, there's an antagonist. He's here. Okay. Woody was too scared, and I realized fighting an old man would be sad. Yeah, Captain Insano also said he wanted to open up at the Philly show, but then he just disappeared. Oh, I thought, yeah, you said he was going to. He's not going he to didn't now? He did answer my emails. Nothing. Well, I don't know. All right. I don't know. I don't know why I try. Peter Hansman, 550 Canadian. Looking forward to seeing you guys in Philly. If Sean can't come, Vito should dress up as him. With a very low cut V neck. No one wants to see that. It's all. You should, though. It's be all funny. Hair down here. Oh, wow. That's a and lot of hair. Some beautiful boobs. Umpty Madu for five. For anyone considering a boycott, look at Rusty Cage's most recent videos for a hint of what you have to do to affect change. Stop being a coward. Oh, okay. I got to see what's going on. Is, didn't he build a guillotine or is that a joke? Ricky for yeah. 666. Vito, maybe you should look into a B6 man in Florida stealing cats and keeping them in his Section 8 apartment. Hmm. Uh, well, maybe I'll look into that. Crumples for five fifty. Vito should stop treating Oops. Twitter like his car and start treating it like the sidewalk. I don't know what that means. Twitter like his car. Because you avoid the sidewalk? I should walk more? Yeah. I should stop going so fast on Twitter. Jefferson for four ninety nine says nothing. Thank you, Jefferson. Me for five. If we do hate a company and boycotting doesn't work, what well, would you consider fair game to build? The, you can boycott them. You just have to do it for more than a week. You can't claim victory after three days. Well, you guys like and pick a better company to boycott. Why don't you what do you want to like, boycott? The concept of advertising. Yeah. What are like, you? What boycotting? exactly do you want to happen? You want you want Bud Light to not exist anymore? It's fucking retarded. 
if it was a com- if Bud Light came out and said, you know, for every five dollars we're gonna cut a kid's dick off, I'd go, I get it. I'm there with you. But instead they're just like, we want to sell to stop drinking. We it. want to sell our shitty beer to trans people. I go, Yeah, of course. They want to sell their shitty beer Obviously, to everyone. Obviously, yeah. What, what, Look, we're making mil- I mean, the military cans are more offensive to me than any kind of LGBT shit. <laughs> I I fucking hate the military more than anything in the world. But right. I'm still drinking the beer. Yeah. Like, what do you want? Just get a like. Grow You're up. mad that a multinational corporation is like, hey, there's a bunch of people we can sell these beers to, and it's yeah. like, so do you just not want people to sell trans people beer, or do you only want? You don't want to see the ads. Then don't turn go off the look television. Yeah, don't and don't watch guys who just repost the ads over and over. Red Vale for ten. Be careful in Philadelphia. The people there eat horse droppings, and Kensington looks like Fallout New Vegas. Hmm. I keep seeing videos from Philly, and they keep scaring me. Yeah, it's a rough city. Someone tell me all the cool touristy uh, food places to go to in Philly. Gino's. Yeah, I'll go there. Or fucking Roberto's across the street. We should make a video. The biggest problem in cheesesteaks. We get one of each. And then just throw up. And, go, and let's bah! eat. Let's get 18 <laughs> inches and then eat them fast and throw up in the street and play the Always Sunny over it. You've been to Philly before or no? Yeah. Apparently, you can go to the Patty's Pub exterior, or maybe it's just the original Patty's Pub. I don't know. Hmm. Justin Rowland for five, bringing in short attention spans. The problem twice was pure genius. Really, really nailed it. I really should have played that one off. (laughs) If I if I had like convinced you, no, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Maybe I would have seemed like less of an idiot. David Gomez for two. Yeah, I know. I did the jump cuts thing twice. D. Dotson for five. If you can't come up with new two new quality problems, Vito, it makes me wonder if you can come up with a quality comic. It's a good, <laughs> good up. point. Blood Man for five. Came for Dick. Stayed for Vito. Wow. Justin Kent for one. Thank you. David March for 550. I've been in Vito's car and he was wearing a seatbelt. Hypocrisy oh, of the highest order. Oh, really? If a passenger is in the car, I'm like ashamed of the dinging. You know, like, they're oh, yeah. Judge that's, me. that's good for you. What if it's they by gonna, myself? They are going to judge you. James Garter for 1999. Oh, call the prayer for Vito. Kara adds 30. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't need a call. The- Magic tournaments and get yourself a, a promo card that you can hoard in your missing palace of treasures. Don't kill yourself I know, I until you get tomorrow. every card of magic Maybe in the real tomorrow. world and the every online card. world. Every card you cannot every kill card. yourself by Allah. There are no magic cards in Allah or heaven or whatever we have. There's no magic cards in heaven, in Islamic heaven. No, they are haram. That's bullshit. Only, only Pokemon. Only is uh, Pokemon. No. Only Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> but every set, Pikachu Illustrator, everyone has. Well, everyone the has Japanese it's version, it's special. still worth ten million dollars a piece. What do I do with money in heaven? Buy more Pokemon cards. Yes, buy more Pokemon cards in heaven. Allah, heaven, different. You have seventy-two virgin wives. You need all the money you can get. Everyone get Pikachu. Illustrator card. <laughs> Everyone get promo Mew I mean, from the movie, that. from the Pokemon movie 2000. Everyone get all Burger King toys from the set of That's, Pokemon. That would be pretty cool. I would like all the Burger King. Everyone toys. get a Bulbasaur, uh, Tamagotchi, the Tamagotchi theme Pokemon Bulbasaurs. Okay. But there are no magic cards. I need a Pokemon mini. Do you know those? Yo, yes. What is that? It's, a, it's like a little handheld Pokemon game. Video game. For Pokemon? They made like a specific Pokemon console. Yes, of course there is a Pokemon console with Pokemon mini games. Uh, Pokemon mini. But no magic. I don't know if I can. No magic. Maybe I can use the Pokemon cards to approximate the magic. No, you can't even pretend to play (laughs) magic cards with the Pokemon. Wow. They would disappear. Does not sound like my version of heaven. Well, right away. Even if you think of drudge rats or skeletons or seraphim angel, you say, a Bulbasaur? I'm going to play it like a Bulbasaur? I say Bulbasaur I'm energy instead of Saren. If you put ma- ma- energy cards at the bottom yeah. of your thing yeah. no, and don't attach them to the Pokemon cards, you will be kicked straight out of heaven. That's it for you. You will be kicked out of heaven. I don't know why the Islam is so obsessed with Pokemon. I don't, but I guess. Because by 
Bayern Tischler. 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 Bayern Tischler.
Mm, 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 mm.